Hi, my friends. It's Z, Zelda, and RJ3. And I am going to do a mini tutorial on the Just Feel Festive Shawl by Kalisha at Quirky Monday Craftcast. Hi, Kalisha. She gave me permission because I told her I had a lot of my folks asking me if they, I could help them out, if I could <clears throat> give them a little tutorial. And I had to ask Kalisha first. And she said that she's also received a lot of help me, help, I need somebody, help. <laughs> so here I am. I asked and she said yes, hooray. So I hope this helps you guys to start this incredible Just Feel Festive show. You will make many, many, many as I am starting on my third one and I'm almost halfway done. You can use any yarn, you can use any hook. Just remember, the thicker the yarn, the wider the shawl. I am going to use for the tutorial, Simple Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. It's a worsted weight. I have a J-hook tulip, my favorite. I have two stitch markers if you need them. And a pair of scissors if you're going to be changing color. I will not be changing color because I'm just going to show you the gist of how to do it. And then once you get it, boom, you're all set. So let's all go to Ravelry. Download the pattern. We are going to chain 21. First you do a slip knot. I don't know how y'all do it. This is how I do it. Boom, done. Put your hook in. And let's get started. Chain 21. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Very tiny, small sample. So as you guys know, this does not count. The one on the hook, we're going to do two double crochet into the third chain. One, two, three. One, two. Now if you guys want to put a stitch marker here, one, two, three. This is where you put it on the third chain. Because when you come back, you're going to crochet in there. Okay, did you guys see that? One, two, three. This is where you crochet when you come back. It says chain one. Skip two chain. Three double crochet in the next. One, two, three. So you make three double crochet and I need some more yarn. One, two, three. Chain one. That's all you do. All the way across. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is how I memorized it. Chain one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Chain one, one, two, three, one, two, three. Chain one, one, two, three, one, two, three. Chain one, so one, two, three, that's perfect. 
go in there and make one double crochet. Now I have people asking, it's easy, is it supposed to curl? Am I doing it right? If you have a sort of letter J, as in just feel festive, you're doing it right, big daddy. <laughs> Chain three. One, two, three, and turn. You skip this big giant first hole and you do your grannies in here. That was the problem I think with a lot of folks. They were going right in here and you don't. You skip this big, this big pothole. You skip it and you go into in between the two grannies and that's where you start. So it's one, two, three, and you just do it again. Chain one, one, two, three, chain one. If I'm going too fast, you can certainly hit the little three dots that are right here for the speed, the video speed, and it'll slow it down. Again, one, two, three, chain one. Make sure you go into the grannies, okay? One, two, three. After a few repeats, you'll get the hang of it. <clears throat> One, two, three. Now we are on the chain one. So now we are at the stitch marker. This is your increase side. I'm gonna yarn over, go right in there, and you're gonna do your three double crochet. One, two, three. Chain three, one, two, three, turn, and two double crochet right into that stitch, right into this one. When you chain three, right into the same stitch, make two double crochet, and that's your first increase. That's what's going to cause the shawl to go sideways. Get your handy dandy stitch marker and count the V's. One, two, and three. So when you come back around, that will be the stitch you go into. Now you chain one. Make sure you go into the V's. One, two, three. Chain one, one, two, three, chain one. I still have my stitch marker here and I'll use it for the end, which I should put it on now because this way it helps you guys. Make sure you chain one after every granny. One, two, three, chain one, one, two, three, chain one. One, two, 
three, chain one. Now we're at the last space. So where our stitch marker is, and you always know where the end of the row is because you got that big, the big wonker right there. <laughs> so you're gonna treble, that's yarn over twice. Go into the big hole right there. Chain two, chain two, chain two. And there you go. And you just keep repeating that. You see how it looks kind of wonky? It will straighten up. We're going to do a couple more rows because I love my people and I want to help everybody and you guys know that. And Kalisha is just like me. She wants to help the world. We're all together with love. <laughs> so it says just repeat. So you always chain three to go up. One, two, three, turn. Remember, where you decrease the big honker, you don't go in there. One side is increase, one side is decrease. The decrease will always have this huge gap and you never crochet into it. You crochet in between the two grannies, okay? Not where you ended. So you do, you guys double, you guys chain three, yeah? One, two, three, and turn. You make your granny in between the two grannies. One, two, three, chain one. And now we're at our increase. So let's take our stitch marker off. Go into that one, two, three. Make sure you get both loops. And do your granny. <clears throat> one, two, three. And the beauty of it is every side, each side, always gets a three chain to go up. So you chain three, one, two, three, turn, and because this is the increase, you're going to immediately go back into the first little stitch and do your two double crochet. One, two, don't forget your stitch marker. Count one, two, three. And then I'm going to go into real time to get into the end. Chain one, one, two, three, chain one. And you can always pause the video. Oh, I forgot to move my stitch marker the gap. So we just did the chain three. We just did three double crochet with the chain one. Now we got the big space here, the gap, and that's where we're gonna triple crochet. So you wrap around twice. One, two, go into the gap. Go through two, go through two, go through two. There you go. Chain three, one, two, three. Move your stitch marker now because apparently I forgot on the last repeat. <laughs> Turn your work. And when you do your granny, you don't go into the gap. You go in between the two grannies. Okay? Skip this gap and go into the two grannies. And you start. One, two, three chain one you can use any yarn that's the beauty of this pattern it makes anything look beautiful it can be one color you can change colors i i would recommend if you change colors do it at the increase row so that this way you can hide at least a couple stitches in here and then weave in the ends 
because you have more material here than weaving into a chain. Just my, my opinion. So we're coming to the end of the increase row. One, two, three, chain one. Here's my increase. Take it off. Go right in there. One, two, three, and then you always chain three to go up. One, two, three, turn your work. This is the increase side, so you're automatically going to make two double crochet into the first stitch right there. Let's do two double crochet. One, two, chain one, and now let's put our stitch marker back. Count one, two, three Vs. This is what we have so far. See how one end is stretching? This is the decrease side. This is the increase side. So that's what we have. See this side? It's going to go like that once it's blocked. I'll do one more row. Let's do one more. One, two, three. We chained one. Go in there. One, two, three, chain one, one, two, three, chain one. I really hope this helps you guys. And remember, you can always email me and I'll try and get back to you as quickly as possible to help you. If you're still stumped on what to do, and Kalisha or I will get back to you as soon as we can and help you. One, two, three, chain one. We're coming to the big gap, but we just do a triple crochet. Yarn over twice, go into the gap. Run over, chain over two, chain two, chain two. And that's it, guys. I'm hoping that was enough to get you guys started. If you need any more help, please pause the video and start it over. Remember, one end. Oh, move your stitch marker. <laughs> one end is a triple crochet. That's the decrease side. The other end is the increase side and if you want to know how many rows you've done just count the increase side one two three four five six seven thank you to kalisha at the quirky monday craft cast this pattern is beautiful i love it i'm glad that you can use any hook any yarn and it looks fabulous i hope everybody has a wonderful day thank you guys for reaching out to us and asking for help. We are more than happy to help you. Love you guys. Bye.